This is the ninth and finally the final part of our Earth Temple Let's Play. And we or not. We've not said that yet I so know. far. In our, uh, two guys playing Zelda. Yeah, we appreciate you guys sticking with us here to the bitter. <laughs> I appreciate you guys sticking with me through Ooh. part nine parts. This, this has been a tough dungeon. But, it has been. Uh, this boss, though, for us, we've ripped on this temple quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I, we both agree this boss is like pretty fun. I did really like him. And there's the theme, like. You know, in a dark world yeah. dungeon, like, you know, it's it's not really a playful thing. I think it is. It's kind of, it, it is really a playful is. theme, in my opinion. Yeah, and I like the look of this room. You got these big spiked pillars uh -huh. against the walls and, and all along this, uh, all along the wall, mm -hmm. actually. But, well, I don't uh, like that. But, reminds me of the Water Temple boss. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It's like a ghost level Mario, too. Like yeah. It kind of has that same feeling. Maybe even the theme is kind of relatable, too, so. I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Hey, see, I... Took, this this boss fight took me forever, and you'll see mm -hmm. uh, whenever you throw him against one of these spikes, uh, he breaks into a ton of parts, uh -huh. and you and you can then kill the individual little part the yeah. pieces of. It. What do they call Despicable Me? That's what those things are. Minions. 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 Yeah, bunch yeah. of this minions break yeah. apart. It took me forever to hunt that. I kill like one each time. Yeah, dude. When I see that many that enemies, <coughs> I just go swinging like crazy. Yep. Yep. That's I like the theme, too. You mentioned that. I like the song. Mm -hmm. I really like the song. You mentioned yeah. that earlier. And surprisingly, this boss, I mean, you can see I picked up on it right away. Yeah. Like, I mean, obviously, like, you know, I always try the item that I got in the dungeon. Of course, yeah. But, yeah, I just, I don't know. It came together, and it's probably one of the bosses I feel out the, quick, the yeah. quickest yeah. in any Zelda game, really. And it helps that he's kind of similar to the... Uh the pose, I guess, that we fought earlier, uh -huh. where he, when you shine the light on him, he, he appears. Yeah, he kind of appears. Uh -huh, that's yeah. a good point right there. Uh -huh. But then uh, picking him up to throw him against the pillars, it felt almost like, I know you kind of mentioned Mario before, it felt uh -huh. like battling Bowser yeah. in some of the 3D Mario games. Now, do you have to hit one of those up and down pillars right there? Or can, like, can you just hit like the spike row on the floor? Well, that work? I, I never tried it, I don't think. I'm not sure. I always aim for the pillars. I did too, so. But uh, I'm and not who sure. Who cares? We're always going to aim for the pillars. Of course, yeah. And kind of um, reminds you a little bit of Bowser in Nintendo 64. Yep. When you had to throw him a certain direction, you had throw him the bike balls or whatever. Yeah. yeah. This is kind of, it's kind of similar, I guess you could say. I agree. I agree. Now I hate this part. I took control of you, man. Oh. If there's I know. one thing I hate. Zelda. Well, there's. Oh, I like a lot of Zelda <laughs> stuff. There's also a lot of things I hate. Yeah. But when something takes control of me, oh, it's uh, so frustrating. Yeah, it's weird that you get that mask over your head and everything. Yeah, that's uh -huh, a, a uh -huh. tough little. There's, just, not, there's nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. It's just Majora's Mask. I kind of always like where they like, you know, as long as they don't use too much of it, which they obviously did in this game. Yeah. Like, you know, they kind of introduced, like, you know, just a little mask right there, you yep. know? Yep. It's always a neat little uh, throwback. I, I think ever since, like, really, it really started with Ocarina of Time with the happy mask salesman. Yep. I mean, yep. they've kind of thrown a mask, you know, not every Zelda game, but, but you know, a lot of in a lot of Zelda games. I feel like, uh,. I mean, Ocarina of Time obviously was a genesis for a lot of the concepts oh, and stuff definitely, we've seen. Definitely. Uh -huh. The music in the games, like mm -hmm. using Ocarina or, or a wind baton. Yeah. You know, things like that, I feel like definitely are, you know, all those were borrowed mm -hmm. from Ocarina of Time. You, you know what I just noticed was the Zelda uh, crest or the Highland crest, or whatever yeah. it's called. I forgot what exactly what the symbol's called. I just now noticed that on the floor. The, the yeah, the big Triforce right there. Yeah, yeah I like We're that. not getting rich. No, the bird. I was talking about the bird around it. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Called, that's, called, that's, called, that's called the Hylian Crest. The, Hylian, is the Hylian Crest or Hylian, Hylian Crest, yeah, yeah. I call it Hylian. I don't know. What, I'm not sure what the official yeah. one is. I just now noticed that. that yeah, really yeah, cool. with the lighter colored tiles. When I, I get a rich one day, that's what I want to have. Like, I want to have a big marble like <laughs> opening like in my main yeah. room. Like when, you, like when you walk in, and then that symbol is like yep. a marble in my main room. And get out there and redo your patio with that symbol. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, it would be awesome, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that. No, I'd said marble, not concrete. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he ran he, right to us. Yeah, right. he did. He was uh, he was not having any no, he wasn't. with you on that one. But yeah, he's not a very difficult boss. No. It helps well, that those skulls in the middle, all of them spit out yeah, hearts. Yeah, uh-huh. Because you hit it and got like five hearts out Yeah, there's not really many difficult bosses in all of this game, no, really. Well, no. I mean, the game's not difficult, period, as far as I like agree. dying, yeah. I guess you could say. Yeah. Now, one thing that get, did get tough here at the end was, like, these uh, light beams would, like, switch. Yes. And, man, I would always miss them here at the end. Me, too. Or you'd get them for, like, like right a there. second or two, mm -hmm. and then it'd move on you. Yeah. yeah that, uh -huh. that irritated me quite a bit. Um, or not irritated, but, yeah, it, it added a new... Well, I had problems, like I said, aiming the shield the whole time. Yeah. And then when the light starts moving, I mean, it did make it, like, <laughs> really, really tough, but it did make it a little more difficult. It definitely extends the fight a little bit. Uh-huh. I don't know how he landed me on right there, and it doesn't hurt me at all. I know, I know, yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then, him. well, I guess he was, I was going to say, why was I hitting him with my light shield, but I guess he blocked the light, actually, when that he fell on top of me, so. That makes sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. At least you've almost got him, you're down to two of the little minions. Uh, I think I might get him right here. I, I think, think so. I do, I think I do. 
Nice. Yep. Nicely done. I kind of like how he'll float to the top right here, yeah. and then the beam will hit him, and they'll come crashing back I down. Agree. Like that's that's a pretty cool cinematic right there. I, I like how his mask looks around. He's like, "Wait, where'd my body go?" Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> he's like a colorful little cinematic right here, which I always like little things like that. Yeah, as cheesy as they may be, he didn't like that beam of sun. No, he didn't. Sure. Uh -huh. But that is a cool effect. I agree with him coming down, crashing well, down. It's nice how they bring it all back here at the end. Like, you know, the beam of lights, they obviously helps you out the whole way. Yep. And it helps you, in the end, kill the boss. Yep. Link's pretty excited. Look at him jumping uh -huh. around celebrating over there. Now, how that boss became that big old thing. I don't know. Is beyond, the, not the boss. The mask. How that mask. That, I don't know if I said it right or not. How that mask ended up becoming that big thing is beyond me. I don't know. He attracted all his little uh, Poe minion body parts, whatever they are. I guess that's true. I guess, uh, whatever. Yeah. It makes just as much sense as anything else in the uh, Zelda Yeah, I'd say we've learned not to question things like that already. And after all this stuff right here, like I finally get to hear my song a little bit longer. Yes. Like, this is where, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. Like when you first get the song, you get to hear quite a bit of it. Yep. yep. And then right here coming up, like after all this uh, dialogue, you get to hear it again. Thank you play it with both Medley and uh, the, the the Spirit or whatever. Yeah, Spirit, huh? Because, yeah, Medley's Sage, like we said in, I think, a couple parts ago. Yeah. I kind of do like him, uh, like how he has a baton. Yeah. Or that's, is that what's baton, yeah. Yeah, okay, how he has a baton. Like, you know, he's going to direct. Uh, that's kind of cool right there. Yep. And it is a great song. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on that. Oh, it's my favorite song in any Zelda game. It is cool when you get them both playing. Yeah, uh -huh, it's nice, it is. Uh, it's a really nice sound. And I really like uh, Maker's, uh, <laughs> there, go give him Maker. <laughs> Thank you, Maker's Mark. But, um, like, I mean, I did really like his violin, but, like, yeah, I, I think agree. you mentioned this in an earlier part. Like, the heart just really, I don't know, brought it all together. It's a nice and then, sound. And then that comes back in Skyward Sword, so. I wonder if that was, uh, that's where they, I wonder if this, that's where they got the idea for it in Skyward Sword. I'm sure this. you really didn't. I didn't like the songs you played with it, though, in Skyward Sword. They just weren't very, they weren't anything like this. No, so. they weren't at all. And that's why, like, some of the music in the later Zelda games, it's been good, but, like, this game just really nailed it. And, oh, my like, goodness, I, I yes. guess they, like, I kind of feel like maybe they got away from it a little bit. I think so, because Twilight Princess's music, aside from some of the boss fight dungeon, but, uh, boss fight themes, yeah. I was not a big fan of Twilight Princess's music. No, I mean, I like City and Sky. I thought it had a very good theme. Yeah. And yeah. Skyward Sword, like, overall, I think Skyward Sword has a great soundtrack. Yeah. But it's more just like the overworld themes of areas yeah. than it is like actual songs that this, you like play to do stuff in the game. This game had some amazing oh, music it did. to it. I mean, it that, did. that's one of those things that stood up the second you fired up to the title well, screen. Well, I uh, posed that question on Twitter one day. I was like, what's your favorite music in a Zelda game? Yeah. And, you know, I was like, I think mine's Ocarina, blah, blah. And then somebody's like, Wind Waker. I was like, oh, duh. Yeah, yeah it's definitely music. Wind Waker easily. I don't know why I didn't think about that in the first yep. point or first part. Yep. But it's pretty cool now that our, uh, our sword is one step closer to being fully charged. Charged up, and that wraps up our Earth Temple Let's Play. <laughs> 